I look like I've got PVA glue all over my face. You know when you watch someone do a YouTube tutorial and they don't ha tie their hair back and you feel sick? Oh, oh, it's starting to come out already. I'm so easily pleased. Today I am testing the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask. And it's one of the most hyped masks on YouTube. They do two, they do their jet lag mask and their overtime mask. Everyone's bananas for them on Instagram. So if it's a big deal on Instagram, I want to get on board really. It was actually created by an Instagram blogger and the first one that came out Kim Kardashian was obsessed with. One says jet lag mask and one says overtime mask. Jet lag says it hydrates. Overtime says it exfoliates. It says the busiest overachievers in the game, your skin cells. So they work overtime, shed and renewing themselves. So I think it's just to help declutter your skin. I've already taken my makeup off, which you can clearly see. I'm having a bit of a problem skin day as far as spots go. So I'm hoping that one of these might be able to help a little bit. I think I want to try the original jet lag mask um, because it promises dewy, hydrating skin, which is exactly what I want. Uh, usage. On cleansed, dry skin, apply a thin, even layer with fingertips. May be used under and over the eye area. Leave for 10 minutes for maximum hydration. Block with a warm cloth if necessary. No need to rinse. Okay, well that seems weird. On cleansed, dry skin, apply a thick layer using fingertips to massage in circular motions for 60 seconds. 60? So you will rub it in for a minute? That's long. Uh, leave on for 10 minutes and wash off with warm water, pat skin dry. Packaging, very Instagrammable, obviously. Very cute. Oh, oh, it's starting to come out already. I'm so easily pleased. Okay. Oh, it smells so nice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It feels quite cooling, but that could just be because of the tube. It just feels like a thick moisturiser. How are you meant to massage your whole face for a minute? But I don't really understand that. Feels a little bit gritty, but really cooling. Ugh, ugh. It's starting to tingle around my nose, which makes sense because that's the most congested part of my face. It's quite messy. As you can see, I'm now covered and I smell like a pumpkin. So I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes. And when you see me again, I'll be looking gorgeous. Anyone got anything to do? No? Okay. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. It says you don't have to remove it, but if I was going to bed, I might rub it in, but I'm going to put my makeup on after this. I look like I've got PVA glue all over my face, so I'm going to rinse it off. Sometimes when you use um, exfoliating masks or acids or whatever, your skin starts to feel a bit like irritated, but this hasn't done that. I'm actually using the face halo, which will be, will be being featured in another video. So watch this face. This is like, you know when you watch someone do a YouTube tutorial and they don't ha tie their hair back and you feel sick? I'm sorry. My immediate feeling as soon as I washed it off was that I need to put moisturizer on. And I just put just some moisturizer on and it feels, my skin feels lovely now. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I'm such a sucker for like Instagram products and I buy all of like Kylie and Kim's makeup. Like anytime I see something on Instagram, I want to try it. Yeah, this pains me to say it, but I don't think this is worth the hype or the money. It's 42 pounds. It's 39 pounds though, and that is quite a lot for a face mask. It is a bit of a reduction from the last mask, which was in the 40s, which personally I think is a little steep. But saying that, you get quite a lot of product. It is, um, it is quite large, and I reckon this would last you quite a while. I mean, it's hard to tell straight away what my feelings are on it, but I feel hydrated, which is what it said it would do. But um, yeah, I like it. I feel nice. And if everyone on Instagram's into it, then I think I'm into it too. Definitely would not use this twice a week. Um, that's crazy, unless you have like skin that replenishes itself like a snake or something. You don't need to use something this harsh like more than once a week. It feels like it would last quite long and you get the satisfaction of like rolling this bit over as it goes down, which I would pay like at least 30 pounds for in itself, so. Proof that Instagram does lie. I think this is definitely a product that's been overhyped. I don't think it's a terrible product. 
I just think there's better, cheaper products out there. Definitely made my skin look more even toned and glowy, I'd say. I really like it. I think, I think I give that nine out of 10 stars. Really good, yeah.